End of Green Gables. Lucy Mood, Montgomery. Chapter Four. More trouble for Anne. Part Three. This summer, Anne and her friends often played in an old boat on the river. Today, let's imagine that I'm a prisoner and I'm escaping from prison by boat," said Anne. "I will hide in the boat, and the river will carry it down to the bridge. You are my family, and you must meet me at the bridge." The other girls agreed, so Anne got into the boat and hid under some coats. Her friends pushed the boat off down to the river, and ran across the fields to get around to the bridge. For a few minutes, the prisoner enjoyed the game, but then she suddenly felt wet and sat up. Water was coming in very fast through a hole in the bottom of the boat. Luckily, there were some trees by the river, and then saw a low branch over the water, and caught the branch. The boat went on without her, and a few seconds later, went down under the water. Her friends on the bridge saw the boat. But they did not see Anne under the tree. Oh, oh, Anne's dead! The boat's gone down, and she is in the river. They screamed and ran back to the village for help. Poor Anne could not move. She had on and had on, but her arms were getting tired, and she knew that she would fall in a minute. Suddenly, there was Gilbert Bright in his boat. Anne Shirley, what are you doing there? He did not wait for an answer, but quickly helped Anne into his boat. She didn't say a word. When they arrived at the bridge, she got out and turned away. "Thank you for helping me," she said coldly. But Gilbert jumped out and put a hand on her arm. "Anne," he said quickly, "I'm sorry I called you carrot. It was a long time ago. I think your hair is really nice now." Can you forget it and be friends? For a second, I wanted to say yes, but then she remembered standing long in front of the school children all afternoon because of Gilbert. She would never forgive him for that. No,、nope, she replied coldly. I shall never be your friend, Gilbert Bright. All right, Gilbert jumped angrily back into his boat. I will never ask you again. Angelie, and will come with her head held high, but she felt strangely sad and wanted to cry. Why are you always in trouble, Anne? Asked Marilla when she heard about Anne's adventure. Well, I think I'm learning, Marilla," answered Anne. "I learn from my mistakes, and after today, I won't use my imagination so much." I don't think Avonlea is the right place for imagination. No, it isn't. I read Marilla a little crossly. When she went out, Matthew, who was sitting quietly in his corner, whispered to Anne, "Keep a little imagination, Anne. Not much, of course, just a little."